We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus on this precious day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is so good to be with you on another day, a day that the Lord has given us. And by His grace, we will keep on going. My dear friend, I want to tell you when things get tough, don't run away from God. Run to Him. I touched on this passage of Scripture last week and I want to touch on it again because it is so important in the season going forward. Wherever you are in your own words, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then we'll go through what the Bible says concerning this. Right now in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in that place we are watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit and speak to us and show us the way. Show us the way that leads to life and lead us in the way everlasting. I give you praise and I thank you, and lead us in the way everlasting. Reveal the true way to us, and enlighten our paths. Lead us closer to Jesus. As we read the word, open up our understanding so that we can hear and understand, and we can see and recognize what is being said. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 118, from verse 5 to verse 11, and I'll read to you from the NIV version. It says, When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord, and he brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. My dear friend, when hard-pressed, Don't run away from God. Run to God. In times when you feel like giving up, the first thing the flesh or the carnal reasoning will lead you to do is to run to man-made solutions. And there are some solutions that can help you in limited situations. But most of the time, in situations that are so difficult, only God can help. Now the Bible says, when hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. When we are going through something difficult, the first thing we need to do is cry to God. Speak to Him about it. Before we speak to anyone else, before we speak to our best friends, before we speak to the people who are close to us, first speak to God. Bring your case before Him. Speak to Him concerning the trial and the hard time you are going through. Speak to Him about what you are feeling. Express it to Him. He knows about it, but He is waiting for you to come forward and speak to Him about it. Because this shows faith and trust in Him. Now it goes on and says, He brought me into a spacious place. Now notice it starts off by saying, When hard pressed, I cried out to the Lord, and He brought me into a spacious place. When you cry out to God, God brings relief. There are some situations that are so difficult that all other people around you can do is try and comfort you. But the one who can bring you relief is God. He is the only one who can bring you into a spacious place. There are many situations that we can face in life that bring stress, that make us feel hard-pressed, that make us feel so alone even though we are surrounded by so many people. And even in those situations, 
when we cry out to God, He can bring relief. Now it goes on and says, The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. We need to work on our faith and our belief in God to a point where we trust in God so much that we are not afraid because we know He is with us. The Lord will never leave you. The Lord will never forsake you. He will be with you even until the end. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Now it goes on and says, What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. Now my dear friend, I want to tell you, even when people are coming up against you, and these people may be so much more capable than you, perhaps they have resources at their disposal that makes them stand in what looks in the flesh as a stronger position, and they are coming up against you and making your life difficult. But as you trust in God, he will save you, He will protect you, and He will see you through. The Bible says, The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Now this statement is correct. And it's so true. Not that it's bad to trust in humans. But one thing can happen with human beings that can't happen with God. And that is at some stage or another. We're bound to experience being let down. And it's not that people want to let us down. Sometimes it's just that they can't help us. They don't know what they can do to help. And in a time like that, you can really feel let down and you can feel alone. This is why the Bible says it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. Furthermore, people can turn on you. People are fickle. They're here today, they're gone tomorrow. It can even get so bad where even your own parents turn on you. But the Lord will never turn on you. As you put your trust in Him, He will see you through. It goes on and says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Now, sometimes people see those who are blessed in terms of resources, those who are blessed in terms of power and capability, those in places of authority, and they rather look to them for assistance than looking to God. And even in that situation, it is possible to be let down. Because man can only go so far. But God can deliver you. God can set you free. In times when there are many against you, oftentimes these people of authority won't be seen. They won't be there to help you. It goes on and says, All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. It goes on and says, They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. Now this means, even in times, when the devil and his cohorts surround you, Deliverance will come to you through the name of the Lord. You will be set free from even those hardest trials and situations where you feel alone, where you feel as though everyone has turned on you. God will set you free and God will see you through. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God for a few moments and then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. Father, we lift up your name even today. And we thank you for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day to live to the fullest, a wonderful day to press on and to receive from you. Be glorified in all that we do and be lifted high. 
You alone are holy, you alone are worthy. You alone deserve the glory. You alone deserve to be lifted up. Be lifted up in all that we do and be glorified. For you are our God, you speak and you live and you make a way where there seems to be no way. You make a way in our lives and you deliver us. Thank you for Jesus, our Lord and Savior, through whom we can be born again and saved, through whom we can be reconciled back to you. I give you praise and I lift up your name even today in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear friend, now as we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree and connect in faith and receive your miracle. Father, I pray for my dear friend. In whatever hard-pressed situation my dear friend feels that they find themselves in, my dear friend, dear, dear son, my dear friend, dear, dear daughter, who is watching this video, I pray for divine deliverance. I pray that you will meet my dear friend at the point of need. Wherever my dear friend feels hard-pressed, take my dear friend into a spacious place where they get relief, where they feel your deliverance working power, where your deliverance working power is easily discerned. And bless my dear friend mightily. Take my dear friend from glory to a greater glory. And bless my dear friend mightily. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The Lord our God is with us. And he will never leave us. He will never ever forsake us. The grace of God is sufficient in all seasons. And even in this season, the grace of God is sufficient and God is with you. God bless you. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.